Hello. In this video presentation, we're going to look into the influence of genre on the temporal semantic behaviour of nominals. This study is an extract uh, from my thesis, which is an empirical investigation into the nature and degree of nominality. And in that, genre is a key variable that I consider. So to give a bit of background here, traditionally, nominals have been semantically associated with notions of time stability, typically understood to denote objects, for instance, a table. Now we can see that nominals can also express temporal meaning. For instance, a fire construes a dynamic event. A fire can take place and it could be observed over time. Now studies have suggested that certain genres might express more temporal meaning through nominal form than others. For instance, scientific writing and also broadsheet newspaper hard news narratives. Now, despite this work, a comparative study which empirically examines the exact nature of the temporal semantic behaviour of nominals has yet to be composed. So, the aims of this research are twofold. One, to evaluate the extent to which genre is influential in the temporal semantic behaviour of nominals, and two, to determine why differences, if any, in the temporal semantic behaviour expressed by nominals might transpire between genres. A random sample of 1,664 nominals was extracted from the British National Corpus using part of speech tagging. This was comprised of four genres which are outlined in the table on screen now. The remaining nominals were then analysed for lexical aspect. Lexical aspect covers the inherent temporal structures of construals denoted by individual lexical items. The structures are binary features which centre around the lexical item's dynamism, durativity and telicity. The combination of these three features creates the first five situation types seen in table three. However, because we're dealing with nominals, we also have to consider a temporal structure. So a sixth situation type was added objects to account for this. When analyzing the nominals, diagnostic syntactic tests were used to determine which lexical aspect features the nominals were expressing. Nominals could either test positive or negative to each test. After all the tests were completed, a binary code of ones and zeros was left, which was representative of one of the six situation types. For the statistical analysis, as we have categorical variables and we're using frequency data, the Fisher exact test was used to assess the relationship between genre and the temporal semantic behavior of nominals. Figure one on the left displays a bar plot of situation type proportion expressed in each genre. From the bar plot, we can see that object situation type was the predominant situation type expressed in each genre. This isn't entirely surprising. It is interesting, however, that the most amount of temporal meaning expressed by nominals was in broadsheet newspaper, home and foreign news reporting. From the overall Fisher exact test, a significant dependence was identified, which signaled that genre does share a significant relationship with the temporal semantic behavior expressed by nominals. Now, when I conducted the post-hoc Fisher exact test, Three genre comparisons came back as significant. These were one, academic natural science writing, autobiographical writing, two, academic natural science writing and broadsheet newspaper, home and foreign news writing, and three, print advertisement writing and autobiographical writing. Now, I do have a few discussion points and you can see them in my poster. However, I'm yet to fully explore the results of this study. So I would certainly welcome any suggestions from you, especially in relation to genre conventions, as to why the genres in this study expressed more of certain situation types than others. Thank you.